This will be a quick review of the colorectal cancer dashboard. First, we're going to have a quick review of the different sections in the dashboard. The two obvious ones, of course, are the two maps. What's really nice about those two maps is that they are in complete sync. You move one, the other one moves with you. You zoom in, the other one zooms in with you. So it's very easy to look at a specific, a very specific location, for example, a state or a specific county and immediately identify and compare um, between the two maps to different variables. Each and every map has the exact same layers, but you can choose which one you want to look at. Let's take a look at this specific icon that is all the layers. Next to it, there is the legend. The legend can be very useful, especially when you're not sure what you're looking at, and also to identify the different threshold that make up the colors that you see on the map or the sizes. So for example, in this case, on the left map, we, we look at Commission of Cancer Hospitals, and we also see the different uh, shades of purple that represent mortality rates of colorectal cancer. On the right map, what we look at is uh, screening rates from uh, the CDC Places Project and NCI uh, cancer centers that are uh, shown in different colors based on the type of uh, the hospital. You can change the layers that you're looking at. For example, you can simply toggle on and off a, a specific layer. So if I'm going to zoom out again a little bit to see the entire country, I can basically remove all the NCI locations and look at FQ, FQACs from HRSA. If I am not interested in looking at screening anymore, I can choose from all the other different layers that are available. For example, you have um, mortality just as in the left map. We have incidence. We have uh, screening, smoking, and obesity from the CDC. We have census data such as um, the different age groups. All the census data was curated by the ESRI demographics team. We have educational attainment. We have uh, race, ethnicity, and poverty. But for example, if I if I would like not to look at um, screening, but rather at smoking on the map on the right. And I would like to look at incidence and not mortality on my map on the left. That is how I do that, OK? So I can go to a specific state, such as uh, just moving around the map, right? And looking at a specific location. Another way of doing that is actually going to the state selector on the top right and saying, OK, let's select now the state of uh, Georgia. What's going to happen now are a few things. <laughs> One is uh, the maps are going to zoom to that specific state. It's going to filter only data for that specific state. OK, and then you will see that the graphs at the bottom, we have two graphs. We have mortality and incidence. Those are going to be filtered and sorted, right, by the rates only to those specific counties within the state of Georgia. Another section that is available to you are those three different lists. You see mortality, you see incidence, and then you see screening, and you can move between them. So if you're looking for a specific uh, county, for example, Fulton County in the state of Georgia, it's really easy to go ahead and just look at that specific um, county, either by looking at the entire list or just by writing and searching for that specific uh, county. You can always go back either by hitting the reset or just um, unchecking that specific um, that specific state again. And then the map is going to be updated and basically going back to the entire country. Another section to pay attention to is that collapsibles section that is all the information with links, credits, information about the source of the data and about the, those organizations such as NCI, HRSA, uh, CDC and others, uh, census and others that are um, the data owners. Currently, all the data that we are providing here are publicly available to everyone. We're just placing them in the same location to make it easy for each and every one of you. 
A few more features that are available to you are if you're looking at the map or any other section, you see that on the top right of each and every one of those, you have this expand button. So for example, I can expand this entire map. There you go. I can then bring it back, collapse it to uh, the starting point, right? And to the exact same uh, scale uh, that I looked at. And um, one last feature that can be useful, especially when you're working, for example, on a presentation and would like to do a screenshot is uh, you're able to change uh, the base map. So if you're looking for a very sp very uh, basic uh, background, if it is gray, for example, or black or any other one, you can do that. You can also look at uh, imagery that is available and you have simple and then some pretty fancy uh, backgrounds uh, as well. So based on your needs, you can change the visualization. So just to recap, you have different uh, types of data sets that are available to you. Some are grouped, just like the different layers from uh, places, and you can toggle them on and off. By the way, one of the things that you can do, for example, if you have um, layers here, you can just toggle off no, the entire group. So no matter which layer is toggled on and off here, you're not going to see anything from that group. A nice feature that is also available is uh, some layers are available at different geographic levels. So for example, let's look at educational attainment. You can see that the data uh, was made available at, um, at the state level. When you zoom in, it's available at the county level. And when you zoom really into, um, you can even see uh, the census tract level. And if you click on each and every feature, you're going to be able to see more information that is available for that specific uh, polygon or a specific point if that's a hospital. So for example, on the left side, I clicked on uh, a county in Colorado, and you can go and see uh, mortality and incidence rates, uh, depending on which layer I was looking at. On the right hand side, uh, you are able to look at the same exact county and information that is related in this case to educational attainment. Um, just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to select um, poverty, for example. And if I'm going to click on that specific county again, now you will be able to see information that is related to uh, poverty in that specific county. So pretty easy to, um, uh, to go around, select different layers, look at the graphs, uh, look at different um, attributes that are related to your project. And if you have any question or comment, please, please feel free to contact us. You have the email in the information uh, section uh, at acsgis.cancer.org. Now go and enjoy. Thank you.